Right, what's going on with you, Dad? I have no idea. This is all news to me. He tells the Gazette before he tells his own son. The man is a law unto himself. Always has been, always will be. But the pub will be all right, won't it? It's hard to say. What, what do you mean? Because we had a deal. I mean, it's all signed and everything. You know, everyone gets to keep their jobs. We, we get to live here. You need to do something. Find out what's going on. You're a bit keen. <laughs> Nothing else to do. Oh, the life of the idle rich, you property developers. Ah, uh, not quite there yet. Can I get an orange juice, please? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's him! It's him! But answer it then. All right, calm down. I'm going to. Dad, yeah. would you care to explain what on earth you're playing at? <sighs> well, wh what did he say? It's all true. He's standing down because he's selling the brewery. Can he do that? Pretty much, yeah. He's the CEO and majority shareholder. Who's buying it? Uh, some big corporation. They had an offer before, but Dad wasn't interested. Uh, apparently, they came back with a Corleone. A Corleone? An offer he couldn't refuse. So, what does this all mean? For Newton and Ridley, uh, uncertainty, restructuring, possible redundancies. Uh, why does stuff like this always happen to me? Finally got myself a decent job and now they're going to get rid of me. Oh, don't worry, Gem, I'll fight for you. Yeah, and what about us? I mean, are we keeping our jobs? Do we, do we still get to live here? I'm afraid I don't know. It's a decision that will rest with the new owners. So we could all be out of work? Yeah, with nowhere to live. <laughs> this isn't over yet. There's a, an emergency board meeting later today. I'm going to find out what's happening. Do you think there's anything you can do? I'll do my damnedest to stop this deal from going through. Newton and Ridley is a family business and it should stay that way. Yeah, and you'll still... Honour your deal, keep you all in work. I promise. Oh, you will not believe the day I've had. Tim's thrown me out of the flat. I'm, I'm homeless. Are you, you listening? I'm sorry, Stephen. I've got my own problems to deal with. Oh, what's going on? We've had a bit of bad news. Why? What's, what's happened? Newton and Ridley have been bought out. Well, okay, so what does that mean? You've, you've still sold the pub. It means we might all be out of jobs. And you might not be the only one who's looking for somewhere to live. Well, is this like the, the driving test trick? They barely let me in the room. I felt like Kendall Roy. The problem is, most of the board know me since I was this high. I still think I'm a kid. You've got sway, haven't you? So I went through. It's done. LS Waterford Food and Drink Incorporated on everything. This bar, the towel, that glass. I dare say we'll be all right. Oh, I mean, takeovers, they happen all the time, don't they? You know, Elon Musk bought Twitter and that turned out all right. Did it. We've already got a rep doing the rounds. Uh, Lydia Flint. She'll put you in the picture. When? The next six weeks. Maybe sooner. So you won't be needing a PA no more? If they keep me on, I'll keep you on. And if he keeps you on, will you keep us on? Hey, nobody's going anywhere. There's, there's an old adage, if things are going to stay the same, they'll have to change. In the next six weeks, they said. That's a long time to wait. Mm. Well, look, listen, if they're keeping the pub, they're going to keep the staff, aren't they? What's the worst thing that can happen, eh? Huh? Huh? Make us wear uniforms. But that'd be so bad. Well, it depends. And she's pretending that she isn't, but she's worried sick. Oh, it'll be all right. Mm. That is, of course, unless they tackle the lot of us. <laughs> How is that helpful? You've got another job. I love to work here. Eh? You know, making conversation. All right, Harold, want to get on the horses? Now then, Trev, what about United? Who are Harold and Trev? The imaginary punters. Well, most bar staff don't even say hello these days. Now, in Europe, you're respected. Oh, yes, barmaids, waiters. Oh, hello. Mm, I love that jacket. Well, that's a good start. I'm Lydia Flint from Waterfords. <clears throat> Already? Oh, we were told you would be six weeks. Within six weeks but I don't like to keep people guessing. Well, this is nice. 
Sean, go and get Jenny. Now. So the, uh, the takeover's all done and dusted, is it? <laughs> my, my, you don't hang about. Things always move fast once terms have been agreed. We bought a family chain in South Manchester last year. Bar staff were in our uniforms before the week was out. I'm exaggerating, but not much. Uniforms. Don't worry, I'll show you a picture. <laughs> Best boring weather field, this. Apart from the false number nine near the stadium. <laughs> Welcome to the Rover's Return. Give on each hand seven letters. She seemed nice. Well, she's not going to come in shouting the odds straight away, is she? The coffee's getting cold. Oh. Well, I think you've seen everything now. Upstairs, downstairs, ladies' chamber. <laughs> Consider me charmed. So, what kind of changes would you normally make? <laughs> uh, straight out with it. I don't mind a bit of plain speaking. We like to keep the character of the original as much as we can, although we do love a quote on a chalkboard. Just to inspire the punters, I pick them. Uh, well, if you want things to stay the same, things will have to change. Mm. Uh, can I use your bathroom? Oh, wait. Be my guest. <laughs> Can't believe you said that. I think we're going to be all right. Are the bugs clean? Yeah, thank God. <sighs> Fancy her catching us off guard like that, like one of them people that come into schools. Ofsted. Anyway, our jobs are safe. That's the headline. And breathe. What else did she say? Well, it, it seems at Waterford, they're not in the boat rocking business, you know. It's like, as she were, as far as I can make out. Mm. Yeah. You never know with these people, do you? I mean, they might be lulling us into a false sense of security. Tell you what, second she's gone, we are having a drink. Cos my nerves, they are shot to pieces. What's that? Quote, unquote, a compendium of utterances, wise or otherwise. Must be hers. <laughs> No flies on you, is there? Mm -mm. Two things a man cannot hide. That he is drunk and that he is in love. Antiphony. Oh, I hate quotes. How can you hate quotes? What have quotes ever done to you? It's possible that blondes also prefer gentlemen. Mamie Van Doren. You doing anything nice this evening, Ed? <laughs> yeah, this. Oh. Is this today's? Yeah, I ask. Sports do not build character. Sean, I think I'm done with the quotes. They reveal it. Uh-huh. 